Hi, I'm Tony, he's Slack. Welcome to Smog Vlog. Today we're going to be reviewing the Goblin Mini by UD. <laughs> So let's unbox it and take a look up close. Okay, so let's take a look at the Goblin Mini from UD. It's a quick tour around the outside of the box. You have your matte black box with your nice silver logo. Uh, come around the back, we have some details about UD themselves. Scratch and sniff code, and that's it. Open her up to have a look inside. So we'll do so leaving the scratch and sniff in place. We have some instructions and our unit. Okay, going through the contents of the kit, you have uh, one Goblin Mini Tank, which we'll come to in a second, but this is it, the whole unit. And we have some spares. We have a spare glass slash Pyrex drip tip. Uh, one spare Pyrex tank. One spare Pyrex tank. <laughs> uh, and a fairly extensive set of spares there with screws, O-rings and shiny metal bits. Okay, quick look at the actual Goblin Mini itself up close. So you have a removable drip tip. As you see, no O-rings on the drip tip itself. They're integral to the tank. Um, to gain entry, you unscrew the top part. That reveals the chimney. Inside you can see the actual RBA section. So we'll pull the uh, Pyrex tank off and the lower O-ring. Okay, the last bit to take off here is the base of the chimney. We do this by unscrewing, however I will warn you it's very stiff on the first use. Having already had this off actually, it's still a bit of a menace. And we're in. So you can see our very tiny rebuildable section. That is proper small. Mini, they are not kidding. Anyway, over to Tony to chuck a build on this bad boy. Woohoo! Anyway, here we are with the Goblin Mini build. Today, we're going to be using two wraps of 26 gauge twisted there for your viewing pleasure nice bit of vape porn and that will be installed on this tiny deck <laughs> Yeah, so that was a quick build. What we're talking about building, Tony, how did you find building this? Bit of a nightmare, if I've got to be honest. Yeah, same. It's not... such a small deck. <laughs> yeah, I'm not used to handling a small deck. I'm not used to handling a small deck. Um, yeah, it, it's tiny once you once you get up there. The post holes aren't, aren't brilliant either. You've got to bear in mind that the base of the chimney is is the the maximum amount that you can build out to. The amount of times I put a build on there and and the the coils were just overlapping too much, and I'm like, oh fucking hell, ruined it. Yeah, I mean working on it. I mean I've got fairly giant hands, and uh, working on it is just bloody awkward. 
but once you get a good build on it, it's a great tank, I think. So yeah. We'll, we'll get into sort of usage of it in a bit. But yeah, building is a bit of a dick. Uh, I haven't built on it with single coil and the single coil adapter. What do you find with that? Yeah, it was fine. I mean, just half the performance, you know. <laughs> what would what, what you expect? It still performed really well, but you really notice the vapour between... Uh, the vapour production between the single coil and the dual coil. Following on from the original Goblin, you do have bought out the Goblin Mini. It's a tiny little tank. You know, we're talking three mil juice capacity, which is really impressive for how small the device is. But is it any good? Let's take a look at some tech specs. Okay, it's got a bottom air intake with a pendulum style air ring around the bottom, which houses two U shaped air holes that are 9.2 millimetres squared. It's got four four millimeter diameter juice feeding channels at the bottom. It comes ready to build with dual coil or using an adapter you can build single coil on it. It's got the Goblin classical block. The body is all stainless steel and it's a heat resistant Pyrex tank. Okay, the dimensions of the unit are um, tiny. It's uh, 28.6 mil high. It's got a diameter of 22 mil, which is fucking tiny and like we said before it's got a three mil juice capacity for the tank the tank itself is bottom fill with a removable screw for filling right other first impressions about the tank it's tiny i don't know if we've mentioned that already uh like we said it's only a three mil juice capacity but the finish on it is really quite good it's around the tank it, it's beautiful okay so the most important question is how has it been on day-to-day -day usage? I'll tell you what, for such a small unit, it's been working and operating and performing like a, an absolute trooper, and to some respects, performing like a larger tank would. Um, yeah, really hard hitter for such a small little tank. Um, from, from the up-close build that we put on there that you saw earlier, um, we were using 26 gauge twisted with um, four wraps. I've, I've redone that since a few times. Um, I've actually managed to get six wraps on it and the resistance up to 0.3, so it'll work on a few other devices that I've got. And for, for those sort of specs on such a small unit, it, it just hits and it, it lets you know that it's fucking doing the job. It's really, really good. What are you? What are yours? I so said the the main thing I've noticed about this is even with my shoddy builds, I haven't made it leak, which I'm really surprised about. I haven't ever had a tank that I've not managed to make least at least once. You know, the, like you get a perfect build and you've got so much flavour and so much vapour and it's great, and then the next day it's just pissed everywhere and you're like, well, I've got to rebuild it again or store it upside down. I haven't yet had that with this. I don't believe for a second that it's impossible to make it leak, but so far so good. And I, I probably would have known by now. So, yeah, if you're like me and you get annoyed by leaky, rebuildable tanks, then maybe it's worth checking this bad boy out. So, I mean, let's just give it a hit and see how it's running. It's about 0.25 it's reading out on here, running at 37.5 watts. I mean, long hit. Didn't get too hot. In fact, hardly got hot at all. A little bit of warmth towards the end. Uh, good flavour. Not the best flavour I've ever had. But from a rebuildable tank, yeah, I'm really impressed with this. Um, I mean, it could certainly go higher power than that. But, yeah, really, really good. Don't read too much into the, the flavour on this because this is uh, the, the sort of the most recent incarnation of, of the build that I've put on here. I must say, the first build I put on here was absolutely banging. It was fucking brilliant. I can't overstate it enough. It wicked perfectly. It it produced vapor perfectly, and it performs like a, a much larger RTA tank. Um, let's just give you a side shot. I'll come over here. You know? <laughs>
Okay, so it's got built-in adjustable airflow, which is pretty cool, you know, it's accessible at the bottom. Not easily accessible, but it's there, and once you've got it set up how you like, you won't need to keep changing it. Tone, how do you find the drawer on this? Um, yeah, currently not as good as the first build that I put on there, um, and a few that I've done in between have not been as good as the first one. The airflow is directly related to your wicking method. It will cut down or open up um, the airflow for you as to how you wick it. As long as you get the chimney and the wicking perfect, it will perform absolutely brilliantly. Yeah, I mean, for most of the builds that I've tried on there, I found it a little bit too restrictive. I, I'm now used, you know, for many years, I, I was into quite a tight drawer similar to smoking. Um, but you know, now I, I like a really, really open drawer, hence this bad boy. Um, but yeah, I find it a tiny bit restrictive on, on the builds I've tried. However, uh, the fact that it is so easily controllable is good, mm. especially for a mini device. Okay, people, let's move on to cons for the device. Slack, you're up first. Okay, well, I'm going to go back to the scratchy bottom on the uh, unit. <laughs> Yeah, it's a very scratchy bottom. The rest of it's been finished quite nicely, in my opinion. Up top's all good, but the bottom of it would have been nice to have been a bit sanded down, a bit smoother. Uh, for me, it's got to be the, the drip tip at the top. It comes with a glass drip tip, and I hated that <sighs> yeah, straight out of the shit. box. It is shit. It heated up like a bastard. Um, and it, it's not a proper drip tip. It's no. a glass tube. It yeah. looks like a really mini, mini tank. You know, It's the same shape, and you just slide it in the hole. And it's crap, why not just have a proper drip tip? If you want to come with a glass drip tip, come with a regular fit with O-rings on it, uh, rather than having this separate O-ring adapter. Because it's a different size as well to regular drip tips. Yeah. So, so you've got to use yeah this adapter, which, again, I don't know that the adapter fits particularly well. It fits yeah, it all right, but, you know... It, it is, it's loose. It, you, can't, you can't pick your device up by it. The, the adapter actually fits to the uh, the drip tip a hell of a lot better than it, it fits to the actual tank. Yeah, which is a shame. It is a shame. Yeah, but it doesn't look terrible. No, I mean, it looks fine. Uh, it works fine. But, you know, it just could hold together a, a little bit better, in my opinion. Mm. So, I mean, while we're talking about cons, you know, I, I can't not go back to building on this thing. It's... Once you've got a good build on it, it's great. But actually working on it is a bit of a cop bag. Uh, not a fan, just because it's so small. I mean, that that is the draw of it, having a small unit, you know, and once you've got it built, that's great, but just the actual working on it, it's not something I look forward to. You know, you get other units and you're just like, yeah, it's fine, I just need to rebuild it, great. This one, it's, oh, I dread it, and yeah, it kind of puts me off a bit. We had a couple of dodgy builds go on there where the actual coils exploded the wire pops Tony doesn't like me saying exploded thinks I'd dramatise it but you know you like you go through all the pain of building and press the button to go heats up and then poof, it's gone it's fused it, it, that's it game over so I mean that's probably not really the unit's fault where you're working in such small spaces it's you know it's so tight it, easily stuff can go wrong but yeah it, again it comes back to it is small it's supposed to be small once you've got a good build on there it's good yeah and it works so tone can you think of any more cons yeah i'm calling out nick green on his wicking method that he used <laughs> it, it was bullshit uh he, he uh he stuck the chimney on with the wicks facing up did the whole troll troll sort of hair do you remember trolls are we that old he had the whole wicks pointed up and put the uh, the chimney base on and then stuffed all the wicks down that way. We tried that three times. The airflow through it was like sucking sausages through straws. I think we've used that analogy before, but it's accurate. Um, no, the, the best wicking method that we've found is to do a vertical cut on, on all the wicks, stuff them down, put some juice on them first then sort of form them into the channels and then put your uh, your chimney base down have to selectively vape with this thing 
Yeah, I mean, that method I've used on some bigger tanks like uh, Lemo, I think, from memory, I've done that on, and it works really well. Uh, on here, not so much. Okay, that's enough ragging on this, uh, this little hitter. Let's uh, start telling you about the good stuff. Okay, obviously the first thing for me is going to be the fact that I haven't made it leak yet. That's that's uh, the real big thing for me. Uh, rebuildable tanks always leak. I'm not going to go into that again. But yeah, that's definitely the first thing I've noticed that's really, really good. The um, the size of the tank, it's only 3mm, but in all the time I've been using it, it's not like it drains down really fast, even with a, a dual coil build in there. It, it's still... It, it works better than a few other tanks, shall we say, that I've got with pre-built heads that actually drink juice visibly in front of you while you're vaping it. Um, it's very conservative. Well, while we're talking about this little tiny tank, here's the C-Fiber face tank. Um, <laughs> seamless, like one person. You can see the size difference on that. Also a 3 mil tank. Okay, the other pro the drip tip you know not necessarily the glass drip tip but once you've got the adapter ledge on there you can use any any drip tip you want and the fact that it, it looks s seamless it could be part of the device you, you wouldn't know from just looking at it unless you've actually done it yourself and yeah with a stainless steel drip tip on there it looks the business yeah, while well, we're talking seamless, I'm going to just whack this on the old C-Fiber. Just for good measure. I mean, look how sexy that is. That's awesome. Great hit. Now, shout out to devilish mode as well let's try it on the eye just because this looks even better with the line alignment at the top now if we can get alignment just right you'll be able to see or not beautiful yeah i mean to have that on there, I mean, it's just tiny. Look, I mean, it's <laughs> tiny. <laughs> I'm almost tempted to get your uh, Tesla 25 watt. <laughs> Don't need to go far. Hey, there we go. Yeah, there you go. Tesla 25 watt battery. <laughs> I just two complete with Goblin Mini and a massive drip tip. You know, size wise, it is just a win. It, it is tiny, it's great. Certainly, big performance oh, in in a small form factor. Bang in. It's great. Yeah, shout out to uh, Devilish Mode because he, he's the one that sort of said about this. And I, I went hunting around for a few few pictures, and someone actually uploaded, and I thought, yeah, that looks smart. But uh, to actually see it and hold it in your hand, that is wicked. good he's good yeah i mean i think this might be my tank of choice for the i just two uh the i just two tank itself is great but if you want to get into a rebuildable tank it's no good there's no rebuildable option for it yet but having this i think this could be the way it goes it's tiny it's like holding a highlighter it is it, just tiny <laughs> that is the uh very definition of uh, ninja vape <laughs> yeah okay so that concludes our review of the goblin mini there's just two important questions left tony where did you get it from and how much did you pay for it the site was called red juice and it was 25 quid no discount codes but they do have site-wide points yeah reward scheme so yeah, yeah reward money Okay, guys, thanks for watching our review of the Goblin Mini by UD. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit us up in the comments section below if you've got anything to say about this device or what we're doing. Please follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And until next time, thanks for watching. Smoke Vlog. Goes
Gosling. Gos- <laughs> Gosling. <laughs> Gosling. It's got, Hark. The, it's got the Ryan Goslings Hark. all over it. Now it just simply pops off. Bollocks. <laughs> I can see you now. It yeah. makes it so much worse. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. The wonders of technology. Yeah. yeah. Fucking technology. Fucking us up again. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Ready. Are you going with that face, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's the only one I've got. Oh, jeez. The longer you sit here, the longer it's going to take me to keep laughing. That doesn't make any sense. Just start. <laughs> Jesus. How can I start with you cocking up all over the place over here? <laughs> you should be used to it. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, ready? Yeah. This is the 510 drip tip, although it comes with an adapter. <laughs> although it comes with an adapter. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That's legible. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. I'm a piranha. <laughs> I'm a cloud. <laughs> <laughs> if Slack wants to say at I, any point, I thanks, can... thanks for watching. Please don't forget to follow us on Facebook. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh, so, uh... <clears throat> Ready? No. <laughs> oh, it's been a long day. Start, starting to feel like it now, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>